Hi, it's Michelle from Honest and Truly, and today we are talking about one of my favorite foods, the tomatillo. So, tomatillo looks like it's just a green tomato that's not quite ripe, but that's not actually what it is. It is in the tomato family, and it's related to it, but instead of kind of being almost a little sweet like tomatoes, these guys are a little bit tart. You can find them at grocery stores where they got a good selection of um, different produce, especially if there are a lot of Hispanic shoppers there, since this is something that does come from Mexico originally. Fortunately, living in Chicago, you find a lot of those all over the place. When you're looking for it, you're going to find your tomatillos wrapped in kind of a papery husk. When you are choosing your tomatillos, you want to find one that fills out the entire husk, so you don't have the tomatillo that's this big and the husk that's this big, because it's not quite ripe enough yet. You also want to make sure that your tomatillo is a nice bright green. As it starts to turn a little bit more yellow and so forth, it's past its prime, it's not going to be as good anymore, at least not in most of the uses you're going to be wanting it for. When you have your tomatillo selected, all you're going to do to prepare it is simply take off the paper round side. Some of them will already start to split a little bit, but most of the time you're just going to have to take it off like this, and then simply pull it off. Now, the tomatillo itself is going to be a little bit sticky, and that is from the inside of this papery husk, because this was originally the flour, and you're just going to want to rinse it off. As soon as you rinse it off in a little bit of water, that stickiness goes away immediately. It's not like honey or something super sticky that just stays on and stays on. So you're going to take your tomatillo, and you can do whatever it is that you want to do with it. I have a great pork recipe that I put in my crock pot where I have a tomatillo kind of marinade and sauce that forms with it as I cook my pork. It's also great in salsas and all sorts of other uses. Usually your tomatillo is used in a salsa, kind of raw or cooked, or they boil it or they fry it. You can also go ahead and freeze it and store it for later. When you are storing your tomatillos, put them into a bag. I like to use a paper bag and just store it in your refrigerator for maybe three or four weeks before they need to be used or discarded. Tomatillos, you don't seed them. When you cut them open in half, you can see that they're kind of firm inside. And that's it. Go ahead, figure out what you're going to do with your tomatillo. I've got some great, great recipes for them on my blog. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below or tell me your favorite use for the tomatillo. And if you like this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything else.